Hey everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when traveling to the big island of Hawaii. Hawaii is an incredible vacation destination, and we think there are a few things you need to know before heading out on your trip. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you stick around until the end of the video, we'll discuss our favorite things about our trip to the Big Island. Know before you go, the Big Island is the largest of the Hawaiian Islands. It's 4,038 square miles and twice the size of all the other islands combined. Kona and Hilo are the two main towns on the Big Island. Kona is on the leeward side and tends to be a bit drier, while Hilo is on the windward side and tends to get more rain. Both Kona and Hilo do have their own airports. Kilauea is located on the Big Island and it is one of the world's most active volcanoes. The Big Island is the youngest of the Hawaiian islands, forming new land after significant eruptions from Kilauea. Mauna Kea is the tallest peak in Hawaii and the only place in the state that receives annual snowfall. Most of the world's macadamia nuts come from the Big Island of Hawaii, and you can visit the Mauna Loa Macadamia Nut Factory while on the island. Also, the Big Island is home to the Ironman World Championship, which is typically held in early October. So you may want to avoid visiting the island around that time because it can get crowded. Things to do. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Visiting the National Park is an absolute must do when visiting the Big Island. We spent the whole day exploring different sites, including the Kilauea Crater, the Hole Sea Arch, and the Thurston Lava Tube. We went back into the park at night for some stargazing, and since Kilauea was active at the time of our visit, we got to enjoy the lava glow at night. Seeing Kilauea erupting at night was one of the most incredible things we saw while visiting the Big Island. We cannot recommend it enough. In the description below, we'll link our video about things to do and what to expect when visiting Volcanoes National Park. Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea is the highest peak in Hawaii and is the most sacred of the Hawaiian volcanoes. Getting a chance to head up to the summit is an incredible sight. We drove up to the visitor center at 9,000 feet to take in the sweeping views below. You must have a vehicle with four wheel drive to reach the peak at over 13,000 feet in elevation. We couldn't make it to the top on this trip, but we know that we must go back and cross this off our list one day. It's been more than 4,000 years since Mauna Kea last erupted, but scientists predict that it could become active again someday. Hapuna Beach. Hapuna Beach is one of the most beautiful beaches we visited on the Big Island. The sprawling white sand and crystal clear water made it a great stop. It's a famous beach, so it can get crowded with visitors. You will have to pay a parking fee if you are not a Hawaiian resident. Waipio Valley. Located on the north side of the island, the Waipio Valley is a beautiful sight. The valley leads down to a black sand beach right on the ocean. We only hike to the overlook because the steep hike down to the bottom is pretty strenuous. Driving down into the valley is possible, but not recommended without a four-wheel drive vehicle. And many rental companies will not allow you to drive your car off-road. There are tours you can book to take you safely down into the valley. Punalu'u Beach. This black sand beach is located on the Kau Coast and is one of the most famous black sand beaches on the Big Island. It's easily accessed and a great stop on your trip. Sea turtles love to rest here, but keep your distance from these heavily protected animals. Onomea Bay. Onomea Bay is located just north of Hilo and is a beautiful lush area with stunning ocean views. While here, you can stop in and enjoy a walking tour of the botanical gardens and take in the views of the bay. If you want to bypass the gardens, a trail can take you down to the bay and is an excellent place for relaxing and taking pictures. Akaka Falls State Park. This park takes you on a half mile loop to view the 442 foot waterfall. The park is located north of Hilo and the trail to the falls isn't very strenuous at all. You'll wind through some lush green forest on a paved path to the viewing area for the falls. There is a $5 entry fee for non-Hawaiian residents and a parking fee. A Kona coffee tour. Before we left for Hawaii, everyone told us that coffee from Hawaii is so much better than what we have on the mainland. After visiting and taking a tour of Greenwall Farms in Kona, we completely understand why. 
The process to make 100% Kona coffee is a long one, starting with the fact that it takes three years for a coffee plant to reach maturity. Suppose you drink two cups of Kona coffee a day. That is equivalent to eight to 10 plants a year. That's why this coffee is so delicious and tends to be a bit more pricey. There are over 800 coffee farms in the Kona Belt region, so pick one and take a tour. We had a great time on our tour of Greenwall Farms. Papakolea Beach. Papakolea Beach is a green sand beach located on the Big Island. The green color is created by the mineral olivine, found in lava on the Big Island. The hike to the beach is two and a half miles to the beach and another two and a half back, so that will take up a large chunk of your day. Driving to this beach is illegal, so hiking will be the only way to get there. We unfortunately did not have time for this on our trip and it is one of our biggest regrets. Explore Kailua Kona. Kona is one of the most populated areas on the island and is where you'll be able to book snorkeling, boating, and whale watching excursions. Kailua Kona is also where you can find great surfing opportunities, or you can book a surfing lesson. It's also an excellent area for dining and nightlife. The beaches here are beautiful and many resorts are located in this area. If you're thirsty, you can pop into Kona Brewing Company for a delicious beer and a tasty meal. Stop into the Hilu Hee Palace, which was once a summer vacation home for Hawaiian royalty and is now a museum showcasing Victorian artifacts from the era of King Kalakaua and Queen Kapiolani. Lava Tubes. There are several lava tubes located on the island that allow you to walk through where the lava once flowed. The Thurston Lava Tube is inside the National Park, while the Kalmana Caves are located in Hilo and are free to explore. There are other lava tubes that are only accessible if you book a guided tour. Where to stay. There are many options of where to stay on the Big Island. You'll find most of the Big Island's larger resorts on the west side of the island in Kailua Kona and up along the Kohala Coast. The Four Seasons, Weston, and various other alternatives to suit all budgets are located on this side of the island. Hilo, on the east side of the island, has some resort options as well. Vacation rentals and Airbnbs are spread out all across the island. And we'll link our video all about where to stay on the Big Island in the description below. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our own trip to the Big Island. So what was your favorite part of the Big Island? My favorite thing that we did on the Big Island was hands down Kilauea. Now disclaimer, when we were there, Kilauea was erupting. So that's kind of a big advantage. But if you've never seen a volcano erupting, boy, it's something I hope that you get to do because I think everyone should see a volcano erupting once in their life. Seeing that lava, spewing out of earth and seeing it at night, that orange glow and then just how bright orange that lava was. It's something I'll never forget and quite frankly, it was probably the highlight of my year. All of Volcanoes National Park delivered. It's a beautiful setting. You can drive down to the ocean. There's the arch that we went to. And if we go back to the Big Island, I can't wait to go back and, and visit that park again because I feel like there's more to explore. And even if Kilauea is not erupting, I'd still be excited to go back there. If you're watching this video, I hope it is erupting when you get the opportunity to go to Hawaii because it's a absolute, no doubt, something that you must do when you're on the Big Island. Oh, Volcanoes National Park definitely ranks very high on the list of my favorite things that we did while visiting. But I'd have to say I really enjoyed going on the Kona coffee tour. I loved seeing how the entire process of how the coffee was made from start to finish. I think it also just felt like it was a unique experience to the Big Island because Kona coffee only comes from the Kona region, which is on the Big Island. So it was just a, a really cool experience to have that you can't have anywhere else. What would you do if you went back? If we went back to the Big Island, one thing I would like to do is go to the top of Mauna Kea. One of the reasons we didn't do that this time was because when we were over on Maui, we went to the top of Haleakala. And to get to the top of Mauna Kea, you have to have um, a four-wheel drive and a lot of rental car companies won't actually allow you to take your rental car up there. And so it was just kind of one of those things where we chose to go to the top of Haleakala over on Maui. And as we were building out our schedule on the Big Island, Mauna Kea was just something that we decided to pass on this time. But we did go up to the point of 10,000 feet and the view is absolutely beautiful. And if I could get up there on a clear day, I think I'd absolutely love it. Would definitely like to head up Mauna Kea. 
definitely want to um, explore Kilauea Crater a little bit more. You can go and hike down into areas of the crater. I think that would be really cool. But my biggest regret is that we didn't make it to the Green Sand Beach. It would have been a long hiking day, and we just didn't have the time on our trip while we were there. But next time, I would definitely make time for that because I'm, I'm pretty sad we missed it. What surprised you about the Big Island? What surprised me most about the Big Island was just, I think, how livable it was. I mean, it's a, it's a big landmass. All of the other islands could fit inside of the Big Island. And so when you're on the Big Island, you kind of get this, hey, if I were going to live in Hawaii, I, I think this might be where I'd live. Uh, I love the cowboy country area. It is amazing to me how different parts of the island felt like you were a completely different world. It's very wet around Hilo, but it's also beautiful. We were there on a sunny day, and the coastline there is absolutely gorgeous. You go up to the very north part of the island, you've got the different valleys, and those are beautiful. And then the west side is a little more arid, but they have some incredible beaches, and you just get a lot of, of what Hawaii has to offer, but it feels like a place that you could live on. And I think that's what surprised me the most about the Big Island. I think what surprised me about the Big Island, we, we went to the Big Island after we were on Maui, and it just felt so different from Maui has a lot of the same elements, a lot of the great things that you are looking for when you go to Hawaii beaches and beautiful rainforest, but it also had the lava element and the idea that it's the newest island and the fact that it's the newest land created on earth is just absolutely fascinating to me. And I think of all the islands we visited, we definitely want to go back to the big island. We, we loved Maui, we loved Oahu, but I just know if we're going to plan a trip back, Big Island is going to be a high priority to visit again. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more from our adventures on the Big Island, check out our vlogs up on our channel now.